Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a chair workout for seniors or those with limited mobility. You'll get to choose the intensity of today's workout by the weight that you use. If you're a complete beginner or you're just getting back started into your fitness journey, a couple of water bottles or light two to three pound dumbbells would do the trick. Or if you're an experienced trainee who happens to be suffering from a lower extremity injury, you can feel free to grab a pair of heavier dumbbells and push that pace. I'll be doing the standard exercises. And I'll be providing some easier modifications. All right, if you're ready, let's get moving. All right, we're gonna get started with a warm up. You can have your weight set to the side. We're not gonna use them quite yet. The first thing we're gonna do is scoot up in our chair so you're sitting on the front half of that chair and that'll really make it so that you're not leaning back or relying on the chair to keep good posture. Especially if you have a cushy chair, because that yes, makes a difference. exactly. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is gonna be an arm crossover plus march in place. So we're gonna go ahead and bring your foot between one to two inches off the ground and at the same time, alternate opening those arms up and closing them. Try your best to alternate which arm is on top, mixing it up, and breathe. I want you to keep your core nice and tight and engaged through this exercise and really through this entire routine today. Now this is just a warm up move, so don't feel the need to keep up or uh, the, the need to move at a super fast pace right now. We're just trying to increase your overall body temperature, get that heart rate up, and get a little extra mobility work at the same time. AKA move at a comfortable warm up pace for you. Exactly. <laughs> and then we're gonna encourage you to do that throughout this entire workout. Really just make it your own. Let's hit this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, shake those arms loose. Let's bring your hands to your chin level and we're gonna do a side to side punch. So go ahead and turn to your right with a left punch, twist at your core, bring that punch back to your chin and rotate in the opposite direction. Every time bring that fist back to your chin height. And I don't want you to just be punching side to side with your arm, but really focus on actually rotating at that core, getting those abs involved. Again, breathe. This one's great for that thoracic spine and just loosening up your overall core. Bring those hands back to your chin every time. And again, we're moving at a warm up pace. Now we're not gonna count any repetitions today, either in the warm up or in the actual session. So again, that's gonna encourage you to move at a pace that you feel comfortable with, pushing yourself, but at the same time, staying in within your own limitations. All right, let's do this move for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good, next we're gonna move into a lower body move. We're gonna do a two leg good morning. So again, sit in that front half of our chair. We're gonna put both legs out in front of us, come up onto your heels, legs are straight. Go ahead and bring your hands up onto your head at your side. We're gonna bend over at your waist, keeping your back straight. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs and then come back up. So try your best to keep your core nice and tight and your back straight as you bend over. So we're not hunching over like this, right? But instead keeping that back straight, head is in a nice neutral position. So your head is in line with your body on this one. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings and in the back of your legs on every rep. Good. Get those hips working. Squeeze those glutes up as at the top as you sit up. Squeeze your backside. Excellent. Again, moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with, remembering to breathe. And if you can't quite get as far down as we are, that's all right. This that's is right. all you got today, mm -hmm. then that's all right. Again, make this workout your own. You may see that the more you do, 
the better your mobility may be on uh, the going down portion of this. Definitely. Movement. For three, two, one, zero. All right, shake those arms loose. It's official, warm up is over. So if you have those hand weights, if you're gonna use them today, feel free to pick them up. We're gonna move into a chest squeeze plus leg extension. So it's kind of a, a, a two for one move where we're working both your upper body and lower body at the same time. So knees are bent at a 90 degree angle, arms are out at your side also at 90s. At the same time, I'm gonna perform a leg extension while I bring my elbows together and squeeze my chest. I'm gonna bring that leg out until it's parallel to the ground. And I'm just doing a lower kick, especially if your range of motion and mobility isn't that isn't that great at the moment. You can just do a low kick right down here. Just remember you need to squeeze that chest in the middle. And you're squeezing that quadricep muscle up at the top of that kick. Again, you decide how high you can bring up that leg today and what you feel comfortable doing. Either way, I want you to open those arms up and those elbows up, feel that stretch, and then squeeze. This one's gonna work your quads, your hip flexors, your shoulders, your chest, all getting worked on this one. We're gonna hit multiple muscle groups in a short period of time today. Very and efficient. And a lot of good core work because remember, you need to keep that core nice and tight. Exactly, because we're not sitting slouched this whole time, right? But really focus on sitting up. Let's do this one for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. All right, next move. We're gonna do another upper body move. We're gonna move into an upright row. So palms are facing uh, backwards, facing us. We're gonna pull up on those elbows. Then we're gonna turn over, external rotation, and then press straight up overhead. Now return them back down. Negative of the press, external rotation, upright row. So it's a few steps. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, there we go. And as you get into it, it'll start to flow a little better. You feel more comfortable with it. Again, moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. And really uh, emphasize each of those six steps. You don't want the moves to all blend together, right? But instead, really focus on hitting each one of those moves separately. And I'll make sure we hit our intended muscles. It's a great one for your shoulders upper back, triceps, and really keeping good posture. Great one for improving that posture. Again, keep your core tight throughout. And whatever you do, keep breathing. Don't hold your breath, guys. I know a lot of these moves, it gets tempting to hold that breath. Especially, again, if you're keeping your abdomen nice and tight, people tend to think that that also means hold your breath. Right, but so don't do that. <laughs> keep your core nice and tight, those abdomen, that abdomen nice and flex, but remembering to breathe. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero, done. Okay, we're gonna move right into the next one. We're gonna do a skier swing. So I'm gonna have my legs out straight in front of me. Well, Claudia's gonna keep hers uh, with her feet on the ground. Right underneath me here. Back is straight. We're gonna swing those dumbbells behind us and then bring those hips forward as we swing the dumbbells and our arms out until parallel to the ground. It's a very similar movement pattern to that good morning, that one we did in the warm up, keeping your core tight, really just bending over at the back. Now, with the legs out straight, it's gonna emphasize my hamstrings a little more. I'm gonna get a little more lower body. You decide which version is right for you. This one also requires a little more stability. Keeping that back straight. This one's a great move to work that posterior chain from a seated position, which is uh, pretty challenging to do, as I'm sure you know. Again, bring those arms out to their parallel to the ground. And really focusing on using your back, your hamstrings, and your glutes, and try not to make this about your shoulders and your arms. Arms are just along for the ride. And again, work at a pace that is comfortable for you. Don't feel like you have to keep up with our pace here. And your back straight, core nice and tight. You got it. Let's do this one for just five more seconds. And three, two, one, zero. All right, let's set your hand weights down for this next one. We're gonna move into a seated jack. So your difficulty on this one's just gonna be variance in how fast you're moving. So we're gonna do a, a basically a jumping jack from our chair, bring those legs out, arms overhead, and return. So you decide which pace is appropriate for you. But you're picking those feet up at the same time, opening the legs, and bring the arms up overhead. 
If you feel great, go ahead, pick that pace up. If you're, uh, maybe you're just getting started in your fitness journey, feel free to slow it down. Again, I really want you to make this work out your own. Fitness is not a one-size-fits-all solution. No way. And if you want to pick up your hand weights on this one and get some extra shoulder work in, feel free to do so. Either way, we're using this one to get your heart rate up, get you moving. Nice. It's a good time of the workout as we start to get into it here to really focus on what motivates you and what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What's your why? Whether, you know, you've... You just want to be better at life and your day-to-day -day activities or you have a specific goal in mind, whatever it is, I just encourage you to stay focused on it. Whatever motivates you to start this workout is going to be that same thing that gets you through to the end. Come on, keep it moving, guys. Keep breathing. You got this. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Excellent. All right, let's grab those hand weights again for the next one. We got a combo move coming up. We're going to move into a reverse curl plus overhead press and calf raise. Elbows are into our sides, palms are facing back. Keep those wrists straight as we reverse curl. And at the same time, I want you to press overhead and come up and drive off the balls of your feet. Reverse direction and down. So curl and then press, drive off the balls of those feet and perform a calf raise. So we're getting those ankles and those calves involved in this one. Breathe on every repetition. Good, again, you're moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with, whatever that may be. It's also gonna be determined by the weight that you chose today as well. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid to mix up the weight as you get into this. You know, some exercises may be easier. Mm -hmm. That's some, true. Some may be harder, whatever it is, customize it to your needs. Or if you start one of these and uh, it's just the weight gets too heavy, feel free to set them down and just keep performing the move with just your arms. Uh, so, you know, plenty of ways to continue. Whatever we, you do, we encourage you to just keep on moving. Good work, guys. Doing great. Let's do this one for just five more seconds. That's it. We're getting closer. And three, two, one, zero. That's it. You can set those dumbbells down. We're going to move into an opposite elbow to knee. So again, we're staying forward on our chairs. Hands are going to be on our head. And let's bring opposite elbow to knee and crunch those abs. And if your mobility is, again, not as maybe good as Coach Kozak's, and you can just bring your knee to your elbow as high as you can. Again, make it your own, do the best you can with it. And the good thing is you come back and repeat this routine and you'll get a little bit better every time. That's right. And remember, if you're not, again, with the limited mobility, just remember to crunch those abs when you can't at the top of the movement. Yeah, here. it's not really about that elbow touching the knee as much as, the, as it is about that contraction every time and squeeze on those abs in the middle. Excellent work. Again, coming back, repeating this workout, getting a little bit better every time. And that's where change happens. Continuously change, challenging your body, putting in the work so you can reap the benefits of those results. That's what you're doing right here. Doesn't matter how slow you're moving, you're still lapping everybody sitting on the couch. There it is, getting better with every repetition. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, gonna get that heart rate up with the next one. I'm gonna perform a run in place. And I'm gonna do the march in place. So again, you decide which version is right for you. Either way, we're both staying light and on the balls of our feet. That's right. So if you're on a second or third floor, you live in a building where you have neighbors underneath you, try to keep it nice and light. <laughs> exactly. We don't want big pounding nope. uh, sounds. Even though I'm moving fast, I'm returning energy back into the ground with every foot strike. So I'm not just pounding my feet down, right? But instead, I'm staying light. I'm a bouncy ball, not a rock. Not to mention, being a bouncy ball and not a rock is a lot easier on your joints. Uh, very true. Very true, which is so important. Come on. Let's go, guys. Come on. Pushing the pace on this one. Why don't you get your heart rate up? Marching, marching. Let's go. Keep that core tight. 
You see, we're both using our arms at the same time too, right? So it's not all lower body. Get those arms involved. Get that runner's arm swing. Runner's arm, again, is just 90 degree angle. And if I'm bringing my left leg up, then my right arm comes up. So opposites. Almost there, guys. Let's fight through this one. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, Ooh. we need those hand weights for the next one. We're going to do what's called a seesaw row, an upper body move. We're going to hit our back. Let's go ahead and bring those hands out to your side. Arms hang down. We're going to bend over in a 45-degree angle. Pull back on that right elbow from the elbow. And then as that arm is going down, pull back on the left side. So a seesaw row. One up, one down. And while we are bent over, notice how we're both keeping our backs nice and straight. Our head's in a neutral position, so that means it's in line with our spine. We're not looking up. Pull back from those elbows. And again, if at any time you need to, feel free to change your weight, set the weight down, pick up heavier weight, make this workout your own. But whatever you do, keep moving and stay focused on what brought you here today to begin with. Something inspired you to hit that play button and get moving today. We're so thankful that you are here. We want you to keep that same enthusiasm throughout. Come on, let's go. Keep pulling back on those elbows. Core stays tight, back is straight. You got it, guys. Come on. Getting better with every repetition. And don't forget to breathe. Come on, come on, let's go. You got it. You got it, you got you it. You can do it. <laughs> Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice. All right, let's set those hand weights down for the next one. We're going to get that heart rate up one last time. Ooh. I'm going to do a faux jump rope where I'm jumping with both feet at the same time. And I'm doing like a run in place jump rope. So notice we're both performing uh, the, the jump rope upper body movement with our hands and our wrists doing small circles but I got both feet jumping up high at the same time where Claudia is just more running in place. And again, we're still keeping good posture. We're still keeping our core nice and engaged as Ab we go through this movement. That's it, shoulders are retracted, abs are tight throughout. Excellent job. Again, get that heart rate up. Let's go, let's go. You're whatever, nearly there. Whatever your all looks like, give it. Remember, you're not competing with us, just nope. competing with yourself. Right. Look at that person in the mirror. That's your only competition. Just want to be a little bit better today than you were yesterday. If you keep that mentality up, you will get there. Come on, let's go. Come on. Breathe, guys. Come on, let's go. Last 10 seconds on this one. Come on. Go. Move a little faster, a little faster. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, let's pick up. Just one hand weight for this next one. We're gonna do a push plus twist. So again, good posture. Put two hands on the ends of one dumbbell or weight. I want you to press out and at the same time twist to your right side. Bring that dumbbell back. And then press out and twist to the opposite side. Now depending on your mobility, you may be able to get a complete 90 degree turn. Or maybe you're more like a 45 degree turn. Kind of like me. And, that, so, and that's okay too. <laughs> exactly. Again, make this work out your own, but we want you to try your best to fully extend those arms on every repetition, bringing those arms and those hands back to your chest, chest level, squeezing that hand weight from each end. Core stays tight, back is straight, really good posture on this one. Concentrate on that posture. And again, twist as far as your body allows you to within your own physical limitations today. You got it. Breathe, you great one for your chest, shoulders, and core. Hitting multiple abdominal muscles on this one. Not much left on this one. Let's go just 10 more seconds right here, guys. Getting closer with every rep. Here it is, here it is, fighting to the end. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. That's it. Nice work. Excellent job. We're going to close out with some uh, cool down. And the purpose of the cool down is to allow your heart rate to come down slowly, as well as to get some uh, mobility and flexibility work in. All right. So let's start 
Again, keeping that good posture in your chair, right? So important. We're gonna start with an overhead flexion. So good posture, palms are facing one another, arms are down at your side. Let's bring both arms up overhead, full range of motion, best you can, and then bring them back down. Now, every time you go through this sequence, we're hoping that you're gonna get a little more loose your mobility should improve just a slight little bit and get a little bit easier to pull those arms back. And every time, just kind of test yourself, trying to bring those arms back a little further. It's a great one to loosen up your shoulders, upper back, traps. Excellent. And it's totally common for this one to feel a little tight or maybe, maybe you can only get up this high today and that's all right. Every time you come back, you will improve. Or maybe you'll hear a couple of cracks and snaps. That's also, also normal as long as there's no pain involved. All right, so on this last one, let's pull those arms back and then let's hold. So just a static hold now after we went through that dynamic range of movement. Just keep pulling those arms back, trying to keep the arms straight. Your biceps are by your ears. Again, good posture. Abs stay tight. Hold, hold, hold. Four, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shake those arms loose. We're gonna move into a posterior shoulder stretch. So let's go ahead and start with your left arm on this one. Bring that left arm up and bring it across. Pull from the elbow. Again, keep that shoulder back as you pull this arm towards you. It's a great one for your chest as well as your shoulder and upper back. Good one uh, to improve your posture. Good, keep pulling and just hold on this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shake it loose. And let's move on to that opposite side now. Again, pull it across. And with any of these unilateral stretches, it's totally common to have one side be tighter than the other. So don't be alarmed, you know, depending on your environmental uh, you know, factors. And, you know, for Claudia, we always talk about she sleeps on her left shoulder, so that one's always a little tighter. Always sore. So that's all right. Make this workout work for you and really just get in tune with your own body. For three, two, one, zero, shake that loose. All right, next we're gonna do a seated leg cross. So go ahead and put w either one leg out straight like Claudia is, or I'm gonna have my knee up. You decide which one is gonna be right for you. We're gonna bring up that opposite side leg from the ankle and shin. Now this version requires a little more flexibility. If you're not here yet today, that's a good option for you. Correct. Gonna stretch out your glutes, your piriformis, your IT band. All getting stretched on this one. And then if you need extra stretch, feel free to bend over forward and just get that little little extra two to 5% stretch. You don't feel that stretch in your hamstrings. And if you're kind of in between, you can of course bring your leg a little further up comfortably and leave it there if you're not quite where Coach Kozak is. With all these stretches, you're trying to get to about 90% of what you're capable of. You wanna to go to the point where you feel a good stretch, but not where you're inducing serious pain or, or uh, creating any scar tissue. And three, two, one, relax. Let's go ahead and switch opposite side now, opposite leg up. And again, same move. You decide which variation is right for you. Now I feel this one a little more on my, on my left hip. Must needed this one today, perfect. Just take nice, big, deep breaths. Relax, let that heart rate come down. And just give yourself a second here to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. A lot of things you could have done with this time, but you made a good decision to come and work out, and we're thankful you chose us. In three, two, one, Zero. Excellent. Okay, go ahead and let that leg relax. Let's move on to your opposite leg. Bring that leg out straight. We're going to apply gentle pressure down from the knee. Keep that leg straight as you bend over, keeping your back straight at your waist, and you'll feel a stretch in your hamstring. Now, depending on your flexibility, you may need to come all the way down to feel that stretch, or just right here alone, you might already immediately be feeling a good stretch mm -hmm. without any pressure. So you decide which version is gonna be right for you today. But either way, keep good posture, keep those shoulders back. You don't wanna round it back, keep them back. Core stays nice and tight. And again, hold and breathe. For five, four, three, two, one. All right, next we're gonna, similar position. We're gonna stay here, but this time we're gonna emphasize the calf. So this time I want you to pull back on the balls of your foot, bring those toes back 
and we don't need any uh, knee pressure on this one. Just keep bringing those toes back and feel that stretch in your calf. So that leg is straight and keep pulling back on those toes. If you do need a little additional stretch, you can then now bend over, keeping your, uh, your back nice and straight. You decide which variation is right for you, but keep those toes pulling back, pulling back. Pull, 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 pull. For three, two, one, zero. Excellent, let that leg relax. Let's hit the opposite side next. And put that leg out nice and straight. Now let's hit that hamstring stretch. So applying gentle pressure to the knee, bending over at the waist, back stays straight. Not pulling back on your toes quite yet. And just pressing down, feeling that stretch in the hamstring. Excellent work. Again, give yourself a second here to just feel good about what you've achieved so far today. No matter what you do for the rest of the day, you can feel good that this workout was done. Cross it off of your list. It always feels good to get your workout for the it day does. done. It does. I mean, it's like a sense of accomplishment. It really is. All right. And As it should be. It, yeah, I mean, rightfully <laughs> so. And relax. As it should be. Okay, so now let's hit that calf on this side. Come on, bringing those toes towards you. And if you need extra stretch go ahead and bend over at your waist keeping that back straight as you do so pulling back on those toes no it's work no accomplishing a workout is definitely something to be to be proud of you know life is too short you gotta take uh, the necessary time to to give yourself kudos where it's due and let's hold that calf stretch for three two one zero all right shake it out we have one last stretch remaining we're gonna do a seated quad stretch next. So I ask that you scoot over to the right side of your chair. We're still staying in the front of that chair, but now we're in the right side. And we're gonna bring that one leg back into the side. If you need to, you can grab onto that ankle, kind of help you get that leg back there. And we're gonna stretch your quad and hip flexor. So be careful on this one, depending on your chair, make sure your chair is sturdy enough. Uh, but on this one, the further back your foot goes, the more of a stretch you're gonna feel. And then you can kind of lean back and you'll feel that stretch down your hip flexor through your quadriceps. And we're just gonna hold this one again, keeping good posture, shoulders are back. And the further back that foot is, the more stretch you're gonna feel on this one. And just hold, hold, hold for five, four, three, two, one, zero, excellent. All right, let's switch sides. Scoot over to that opposite side and let's finish this, this last stretch right here. Let me get my dumbbells out of the way. There we are. And again, just like the other ones, you might find that one side is tighter than the other. Totally normal. A few big, deep breaths as we finish up here. Be proud of yourself for what you've achieved today one step closer to your goal after finishing this workout in five four three two one zero and that concludes is it. today's workout excellent yeah. job thank Good you work. claudia thank you out there for hanging with us right to the very end if you like this workout and you've been working out with us for a while we'd encourage you to please go check out our patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout with us today, we ask that you please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss a brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs. And if you are on any type of social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, come find HasFit and connect with us because we want to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.